Hey, Zach. Yeah? It's January. It is. Top 10. Top 10. Yeah. Hey, new opening? New opening. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah. yeah. It's, we really should have done this at the beginning of January. Yeah, it's like the end of January. We should, we should make, this is not even relevant anymore. We should make this yeah. a thing from now yeah. on. and shots time and you're here and we're here and we've been known to be here yeah and and you by definition of watching it are also like, here legally binding yes you are here yes like if you get arrested we're technically your album absolutely like legally yeah yeah it's, yeah it's you in, can say i was with zach and mike yeah right here yeah it's in the documents it's, you had to sign yes to watch uh, and when you agree to the terms and conditions of youtube it's also there yeah it's also there yeah absolutely so, yeah, glad we got that clear. Yeah, up. now that's out of the way. Let's get started with the episode. So, we're doing a top ten, like we do every January. Yeah. Every January for the last two Januarys. <laughs> we only did the two Januarys before. Yeah, but we kind of started like at a random month. Yeah, we did. We didn't start so. very soon. I, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. This yeah, is what we're yeah. doing this month because yeah. it just makes sense. And I know everyone's already coming with their top tens, yep. and we don't care. Nope. Because we order toys last minute, and sometimes they don't show up right That's away. That's true. The problem, though, is like, is it is it in your top ten because it's new, or is it in your top ten because it's good? I think that also proves that a top ten is more effective if ones you got way back in January and February uh -huh. of, that of the pre of the year are yeah. still more important than the ones you picked yeah, up. Yeah, that's true. End. That's yeah. true. That if it stands the test of time. Or is it a figure that was so long ago and you didn't, you really didn't care that much that you forgot it even came out this year? Yeah. Yeah. Or when so many weird figures come out in a year that you kind of forgot which ones came out that year. I had that problem. Before. I yeah. had that problem. Like, for sure. I had to look at my collection and I was like, oh yeah. I, I try and to document it with pictures so I can go back and see yeah. like, okay. But some of it happens so fast. Yeah, like, it's I mean, true. Like, they, were, they were hitting the shelves yeah. all year. Yeah. And into the end of last year. And sometimes yeah. if you're in certain regions. Yeah, and Siege was weird because yeah, some Siege came out at the end of 18, but we didn't get half the first wave until 19 I mean, so we're recording this in january yeah and we on the west coast still don't have astro train yeah so if we get astro train is he going to be 2020 for us because yeah. there's like other other than ordering him online like there wasn't any way to really buy him yeah there was no store drop i've never right. seen a rat I've, nev I've not seen them in yeah. stores whatsoever so, and, and, and as far as i know no one has seen them in our area. Yeah. Yeah. Unless they got them online from Hasbro. Yeah, plus, right. If they even, if they even did, yeah. Who knows? Amazon. Anyway. Right. But yeah. So who knows? Who knows? Who knows? The shadow knows. Do you think so? I don't know. That's the tagline. Do you think he does though? <sighs> I feel like he likes to make people think he does. That's fair. Yeah. We're gonna kick off our top ten, um, but we did it. We did a little wonky like we did last year because. We kind of came to this point where we buy so many officials and then third parties yeah. that sometimes it's really hard to separate, like, do I like this third party figure more than this official or do I just spend more money so I feel obligated to put it in there? That's a real problem. Like, is it, how do you judge a, like, a, let's say a $30 Optimus Prime with like a hundred and, or $450 Optimus Prime exactly. or whatever? Yeah. Like, is, is one inherently better than the other because it's more expensive? Yeah, and you went through it. Like, is your guilt yeah. driving your decisions? Right. So, yeah. we're, we're going to do a top five 3P uh, mm -hmm. and top five official. Correct. Just to make our lives easier. It's just easier that way. Yeah. So, we're going to get started yeah. with uh, top, our number five third party transformer. Before we do that, Okay, so starting with number five. Or, yeah. yeah. Starting with like it's weird because it's our we're doing ten rounds. We're doing yeah, ten yeah, bots. We're doing ten bots. But yeah. but this is bot number five. We're breaking it up. We're breaking it up. So in our third party bots, bot number five. I'm gonna I'm literally gonna just choose this last minute. Yes. Chiss. Chiss. 
This is Unique Toys Challenger. 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 Challenge. 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 This is their take on either last night Optimus Prime or the Age other of Age of Extinction. The eggs of Extinction. Eggs of Extinct. I like. I'm stealing your joke. I didn't yeah. mean to. That was a good joke. Yeah. I like that. It's excellent. <laughs> mm. This is a really good toy. One of my big complaints with the robot designs in those movies is there's no way to translate a vehicle into what we saw on screen because it was yeah. too clean. Yeah. And it just you couldn't look at Optimus Prime and tell he's a truck because he had no kibble. There was like mm -hmm. no, almost no truck kibble. Yeah. He just looked like a robot, which yeah. is, is cool, I guess. But also, when you're talking Transformers, for me, yeah. the kibble's half the fun. Are you talking Transformers? I'm talking Transformers to you. Okay. At you. But Unique Toys 100% proved me wrong. They done did it. This is, I bought this at BotCon back in March. TFCon? TFCon. Sorry, you're right. Yeah, uh, I know. I usually am. Yes. I absolutely love this figure. He is, despite looking like it, he's not too complicated to transform. He pegs together super well. He actually comes with a lot of interesting accessories. Alternate head for master maskless face, but it, let's be honest. If you choose the maskless face, what's wrong? Like you're, what's, what is problem. wrong with you? Prime. His alt mode doesn't look like it turns into a robot. Like, it, the, yeah. the same witchcraft that you see here is true on the alt mode. Nice. It just looks like a truck. So like, Unique Toys carried through the same promise they did with Lockdown? Absolutely. Like, th it is a good-looking truck. It is a fantastic-looking robot. And where the, like, where the truck kibble ends up is nuts. Like, you have kind of the grill and wheels on the bottom of oh, the Jesus. feet there. I didn't even know the wheels were tucked in there. Yeah. He just he tucks it all in. It's a good tuck job. That's right. But yeah, just the way that he folds, just it makes sense. It looks good. I, I just, I genuinely like it. It's a lot of fun. It looks great on the shelf. Even if you don't like the movie bots, yeah. I feel like he's worth owning just to experience the transformation. Yeah. Well, especially if you have an Optimus collection. Yes, like I do. Have a bit of one. I have, it's literally, it's just off camera. It's just yeah. Off camera. It's just off camera. Is the sword metal? No. Oh, okay. No, there's not. Really, as far as I can tell, there's not really any metal. There might be a little die cast yeah. somewhere in there, but it's not it's not much. It's not enough to really yeah. matter. And he's like, what, it was like 140 bucks or something yeah. like that? I remember he, he was one of your agonizing decisions. He was. I bought him. He was the last figure I bought, actually, at TFCon. You did You did seek permission first. I did. I had to seek permission. And you asked for and counsel I, from me I and asked, Jim. I asked for counsel from you, Jim, one of the guys at Chosen Prime. And then I asked uh, Dave... Uh, Mints from uh, off of um, he's a YouTube guy. Yeah, I was like, dude, like, did you get this? What do you think? He's like, it's so good, but it was also like super early in the morning for them, and I felt really bad or whatever. But it's fine. Hey, he didn't have to answer it. That's early true. In the morning. That's true. I ignore text he, literally. He's all in the time. he's in England, so across the pond. across the pond. So that's my number five. He is really good. Yeah, but there, I guess, are four more better than him. Yeah. Yeah. To you. Yeah, to me. Maybe not to me. Right. No, this is your number one, right? No, it's not. Oh, okay. yeah. 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 So my five. Your five. Oh, it's alive. Johnny not... Five, man! It's a thing. I know, but he's not. He's dead now. No, the whole... Oh. Yeah. Anyway, number five. It's sort of my cheat round. <sighs> so you see, my wife... My wife. My wife. My wife won't let me do two figures for a number a spot, even if they're part of a package and you have to buy them together. Well, they're the same toy. Yeah. Just slightly different. I mean, in all fairness, if I have to choose, <clears throat> Guzzle's my favorite. Okay, so two. this he, this he, is the forefront five, runner. Of but I figured, if I'm showing them off, I gotta show them off as a True. team because you okay. buy them as a set. All right. You cannot buy one without the other. Yeah. I yeah. mean, you could on maybe eBay or whatever. Yeah, that doesn't count. Um. So yeah, I haven't done this for the show, but I did him for the show. Yes, you did. He was last, a, last episode. He's a lot of fun. Little H tank. Uh, and uh, a tank. A uh, 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 tank. Uh, tank. The thing is, his name is Erebus, I believe. I'm gonna see Erebus, and this is Gravis, I believe. That. I don't know. I didn't look up. The yeah, but for reals, this is Guzzle and Ironhide. No. No. What? What? That's his bro. I was just. I was just. Okay. Like, I was like, what? <laughs> 
<laughs> I've never transformed in my life. Do you even transformer, bro? No. I haven't even been on the show before. That's right. I just found you off the show. Just, I, just, I need a co-host. It's CG. That's you right. Just CG everything. I don't even know what... You're not even a real person. Are these guys? <laughs> they kiss? What do they do? Yes. Transformers are known for their kissing. Yes. Even though he doesn't have a mouth. In here, he's got one in here. Or I mean in here. Yeah. Here? Here. It's all the same. Okay. I love these little bots. They're definitely like the kind of cool chunky style that... I like from lots mm -hmm. of MC's doing. Braun never looked like this, even in the the IDW yeah, that's, comics. Yeah, that's never a Braun look. I think they just figured like, well, we got a bot that's only this big. Should we just like repaint it now? Because they do a lot of repaints. Yeah. Uh, but he's pretty IDW accurate from sure. from the previous uh, continuity. Yeah. And he's super chunky and adorable. I like his little tank, the butt, the the little, barrel. His little turret. His turret. But they're just fun little figures. Like I didn't buy a super ton of third party figures that came out this year. I got mm -hmm. a couple randos that came out in like previous years. Right. But, uh, these were just like fun little guys that I think we had, I, we saw them at BotCon. We did. And I yeah, were, they were the previous. Yeah, and I, they were not yet. Yeah, and I was yeah. really impressed by their little cute chunk style. Mm -hmm. So they were on my radar instantly. So as soon as they came out, I just bought them. Sure. Yeah, I don't regret it. Yeah. Not enough to ascend higher in the list, but definitely number above five. Yeah. They're, they're number five worthy. And they're, they're definitely alive worthy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Bringing it back. Yeah, yeah. I but not like that. Johnny Five, because he's dead. He's. Oh. You hurt my heart. I do. And I mean it. I sincerely hope to hurt your heart. <sighs> Can you hear my fart? Let's find out. <sighs> Okay, so let's go ahead and we're moving on to number five of our no, official oh, five of the number officials. five of our official bots. Yes. But before we do that, it's time to do a shots. What? Yeah, that's the how the program works. I've never been here before. <laughs> now it's just not. Mm. Here, so here's my top five, my fifth number for the um, number five, 2019. Ascending from the number five, or descending from five to one, but one is the best. Yeah. Ooh. Coming in at number five. Brave choice, brave choice. Yeah, before Masterpiece uh, Ultra Magnus came out, I'd never owned an Ultra Magnus really before. Did Masterpiece come out before the Yeah, I'm pretty sure it did. Combiner one? I'm pretty sure it did. Probably. I'm pretty sure it did. Okay. But either way, like those are my first two Ultra Magnuses. Ultra Magnus, yeah. This one, it's different, but not. And I love it. In its alt mode, it's like a Robots in Disguise Ultra Magnus. Mm -hmm. But in its robot mode, it's like the perfect G1 Ultra Magnus. Yes, they actually did it. I feel like it looks more like G1 Ultra Magnus in the cartoon than the Masterpiece one does. On some level. Yeah, I can see it. Like, I just like how chunky he is. I love his head sculpt. Yeah, the, they, they really knocked it out of the park with all of the upper parts of the yes. Ultra Magnus. Yes. He looks completely accurate. Yeah. The only problem is the inevitable problem you have is where you get like exposed. The, the exposed pieces inner, inner pieces down here. For what he is, he is just such a good toy. He's a good head taller than the rest of the Voyager yeah. bots. He's a leader class, so that makes sense. But he's not overly out of scale. Yeah. He's chunky, he's thick, he's got, just like every other Siege figure, tons of rear articulation. Yeah. See, for me with him, mm -hmm. uh, my only problem with him, other than the price point was a little severe, but we, we covered that before. We, we have, actually yeah. We did him on yeah. the, we the did present. Him on, on the present, yeah. Back in February. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is that, I, I think I covered this there too, is I liked the scale of the Combiner Wars ones. I wished he was a hair taller. Personally. Yeah. And, but okay. But other than that. That's fair. Other than that, I think he was a solid figure. Yeah. The thing I like about him over the, um, the Combiner Wars one is just, the Combiner Wars one is hollow kind of a little bit of a floppy hollow mess. That's fair. In some, in some cases. Yeah, I, I completely understand. It's also trying to do the same thing that the um, Masterpiece one did where it's not parts formery, which is fair. It's interesting yeah. that they well, can do that. And also it was a different take on Ultra Magnus. True. Instead it, of being, it was instead IDW, of being yeah, like a, a small yeah. white optimist with armor on like the right. original toy, it was yeah. like a little dude who be, who was in the big dude. Right. 
Whereas this one kind of is a more of an homage to the original G1 yeah, toy, which is where it's a white Optimus, but it's still not Optimus. Like it's not the same toy. It's a different toy. Yeah. Uh, they actually repainted this one in Optimus. That's true. Which is they funny, did. Which they is, did. Yeah, they did. Great. But I just I genuinely I love the way this figure looks, especially in a group. Yeah. If you get him with like Optimus and some other like G1 looking dudes or. Uh, I guess third season one looking dudes. Uh, yeah. They just look good together. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree 100%. We kind of covered that we did him earlier in the year. Yes, and if you want to see our full thoughts on that, go watch that. Go watch that episode. I like how you dangle your Maggie. <laughs> look at him just dangling his Magnus again. On camera. Well, so since we've done him before on the show, yeah. are there any other memories from this year that you think from this last year that stood out. We were really able to cover this. That was, that was we, a good segue. We, we, we do so many episodes of this we fucking did. show. We did. And we have so many weird adventures. Yeah. It's weird to think back, like, when we were looking at figures to compile this episode. For sure. Like, wait, did this guy come out this year? Like, what the yeah. fuck happened This, this is one of those that I didn't, I genuinely wasn't sure if this came out this year or last year. Yeah, because I, I had think, to go I look. Think, I think it did come out in some East Coast places. But in like we didn't see it. December, yeah, we didn't see it until January here, January. for yeah. sure. Yeah, I think that for me, the highlight of the year was going to that uh, brick by brick show oh, for, Vince for Vince Ticola. Like that's where we met, kind of you know, like Tyler Blazinski. Yeah, yeah. Poppy we met, Blitz. We met Collecticon. Collecticon. Um, we met some guys from uh, TFW 2005 board. Yeah. We met the guy from Cybertron. Cybertron. Yeah. Um, you know, we talked to a, a designer of the Transformers yeah. toys. We talked to guys from Hasbro. Yeah. We talked to Greg uh, Berger and Flint Dilly. Yeah. Like, I felt so out of my element yeah. doing that. I had no idea what was going on. I didn't didn't belong there. Yeah. But I was there. <laughs> it de it de I, that was like my big highlight. Of yeah. Me. Especially because we got to film it for, yeah. under the guise of this show. Oh, for we, sure. We got to yeah. like get out. Like we were some big show that like t like thousands of people watched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it just it was cool doing that. But also it kind of made the year break up weird where I felt like that happened so long ago mm -hmm. that everything that happened before it felt like last year and not just the first half of this year of yep. this last year. You know what yeah. I mean? Like it kind of broke up the year in a weird way. But I, sure. I've liked that we've started doing random travel episodes like yeah that, that, that was fun they're just breaking out of this goddamn room yeah so that's my top five what's your top my, five my, my not my whole top five no just the he table. is your only five He's I, my, I'm just gonna you know, every round you're like, right here here's number this four is number, yep. you just did him nope well, here's number three yeah, that's right but it was my top five yeah okay my five was yes. <sighs> Fair. Siege Shockey he was a great figure. Did, yes. we, did we also do him in the leader round? We did. We did. We yes. did, yeah. I think that, I did him and you did him, right? Yeah, I yeah, think that's yeah. true, actually. Yeah, I think we like kind of we, we, fl we flipped him, yeah. yeah. I really, really like this mold as we Me come. too. Because I'm, I'm a chug guy. Yeah. You know, and so I've always wanted certain figures chug scale, mm -hmm. and I've had to compromise with it. And finally, they gave me a chug scale shockwave, as I'm sure I've covered before when we talked about it. Mm -hmm. I loved everything about this. The color was great. The size. I know everyone's bitching about the scale thing, but I like how they actually have like a unified scale. For same. The same. I, mean, I don't care that it costs like slightly more money in certain angles. Like the designs there, they give like different like wrist swivel and stuff yep. on figures like this, and and it comes with an unnecessary thing. But yep. I kind of like yep. this piece. So the way I see it. The way I see it, Voyagers cost thirty bucks, yeah. And now, yeah, yeah now, twenty-five now. to thirty. So, if you paid thirty bucks for just this, would you be okay with it? Yeah, I'd be, I'd be a little bummed. And, okay. and, and to be fair, the reason why he's number five on my yeah. list is because of how much money he costs. Fair enough. He might have been higher up on my list, but yeah, I, was. I was really kind of assessing it yeah. and comparing him to other figures. The amount of money it cost to get him was a little bit much. Sure. But, but so, but, but hear me out on this, oh, no, no, on this no. part. On I'm this part. with you. If if a, if a third-party add-on co kit company said, hey, you know that $30 Voyager figure that you bought? Here's is a $20, here's a $20 add-on kit to make him larger, give him a bunch of extra well, arms. And if this is a third-party kit, it'd be more like 35 to 40. True, true. Yeah. But I'm, I'm saying, like, yes, it's a lot. Oh, yeah, no. I agree. Like, the only reason, like, he's in my top five because I absolutely love this Because he's great, yeah. But the price is the only thing that keeps him at the bottom of the top sure. five, but he still was firmly in my top firmly five. Firmly in the top he five. He was going in the top five. And a lot of 
a lot of figures came out in the Siege line. This like a lot. Year. A lot. Like, yeah. It was a really, like, so many came out that I actually forgot how many came out. Same. I actually like this mold so much that I actually, when they wanna, when Galactic Man was on sale mm -hmm. for Black Friday, I Which bought the black version so I could have yeah, the version yeah. of him with all the armor on. Yeah. I love, I actually would like the way the armor the, looks. The Mecha Shiva. Yeah, so I can yeah. Mecha Shiva one, but then have Shockwave yeah. as Shockwave. And so. I mean, I can't express enough how much I love the design of this toy. He's was, a fantastic toy. Like the only, the only thing I wish he had was the seat, the clear see-through bits. Sure, I'm sure there might be. I, I, there's like definitely add-on kit that you can get, but the clear ones. I yes. just, I love the color scheme. I, yeah. I just couldn't be, I couldn't have been happier. Even with his it. light piping. Yes, very severe, menacing light piping. Yep. I, this is one of those figures that I, I bought it and it stayed rather than like going in my shelf. It mm -hmm. pretty much stayed on my desk. Yes. For to like play the with. next month, and yeah. I just kept filling with it and like posing him, yes. like shooting people, yeah. and transforming them and stuff. And, it's just, it was just a great toy. Yeah, and in, when we talked about this back in February, we mentioned like this is one of those instances where uh, Hasbro took like a third party design oh, yeah. and stole it, yeah. which is great. Yeah, because this is straight up uh, fans, like fan, toys. fans' toys or Cloud Nine yeah, or whatever. Yeah, like it's the same. Yeah. Same transformation. And it gave me what I want, which was a Chuck Scale Shockwave. Yes. Which is one of the figures I've wanted yes. forever. For sure. And in G1 style that I wanted to go with my set. It's okay. funny these two are same, same thing, though. Yeah, the, the 50 bucks is a lot to pay for a leader class. And I get it. He's small. But when you think about it and what they offer yeah. for 50 bucks, there's a lot more plastic. Look, if <clears throat> you told me... That fans toys put this out, mm -hmm. or not fans toys, uh, fans project. Yeah, because they they did a chug scale. Right, and it was this exact same figure. Yeah, theirs for fifty. But bucks. obviously, it's going to cost like sixty, 60 or seventy. Or 70 bucks. Right, I would have been like, that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to yes, get it because because yeah. because Hasbro's not making it. So Hasbro yeah. made it slightly cheaper than it would have been as the third party, and I don't even care. I might even buy a second one just because yeah. it's cheap. Because sure. this figure's fun. Yeah, I can do weird customs and stuff. But yep. Yeah, yeah, I love it. I love it too. I love it. Love it. I love it. I love it. I love you. I love you. Wait, is that? So what we're doing right now is round, f no, number four. Number four. Number four of our, of our, of our top five third party figures. So this is the fourth best of the year, our fourth favorite of the year. Yeah. But before we get into it. Let's get in. Let's get we're going to get us. into it. We're doing number four, Z's. Yes, we are. We're doing number four, Z's. Four, next on number four, Z's. Next, next time four, on number four, Z's. Yeah. Anyway, so what is your number four? Oh, right, because we're doing things. This is a toss up. So my number four and my number three are interchangeable. interchangeable. Gotcha. But I just chose this arbitrarily for reasons. For but arbitration. For, arbitra for arbitration reasons. This is. Magic Square, Light of Freedom. More like Light of Freedom, you dummy, you idiot. So that's two Optimus Primes I've had on this list. Yeah. Just keep keep track of my Optimus count here. Because I feel like I've only bought Optimus Primes this year. I just hope that the amount of Primes in this list are a prime number. Oh, I have no, I have they no won't idea. Be, I know. Oh. Don't, don't look, don't spoil it. Don't spoil okay. the surprise. So I bought this. This is the first one I bought. I think I got this back uh, around my birthday. I feel I think it came out around March or April. You got it right before TFCon. This one or I don't did I? When I don't I, think I did. I don't think I got this no, one. You did because I almost bought him. The That's entire right. Convention. That's right. You're right. And I was trying to tell you how great he was. Yeah. Yeah. You were taunting me. This guy is the worst guy for trying to talk you out of buying shit 100 percent convention. I am a salesman by trade. Even though he makes no money off my purchases, no commission or anything, he still haunted me the whole convention. Because I love this figure, and for a while, and to pay him I back, thought he was gonna be number one on my list. To pay you back, I gave you only doubt for anything he's That's having. true. Yeah, I was like, yeah, like I don't made know. me second guess all of my know. all of my purchases, but it didn't stop me from purchasing. Do you think Lily would like it? It didn't stop me from purchasing. So I love this figure. Year. Um, and I bought him because at the time there there were three major Optimus Primes that came out. Which, and he's my favorite character. So Chandler this was, Melman has the stripe. 
Transform element doesn't have a stripe in, in the truck mode. Oh, the truck. This okay, one truck does, mode. and the official MP44 doesn't either. Okay. They announced the MP44, and that was like 450 bucks. And the I was like, stupidest amount of that money. Ever. But the thing is, stupidest. I love Optimus Prime so much. I briefly, very seriously, I, considered I, buying. I, I, talked you off that list. You did. The, the appeal of all three of these is they're more akin to the cartoon yeah. aesthetic. Well, and what's great about him is he looks like he'd just be some Super 7 figure that doesn't transform. Exactly. He, he just, has... he looks more like a, like a, like a action figure. Yeah. And he's got fantastic articulation. Like his, his arms come out, his, uh, Elbows are like super jointed. Uh, he's got this crazy like waist <laughs> ab crunch thing. So yeah. you can get some just can ridiculously break his own back. amazing poses out of him. Uh, the transformation is basically MP10s with a couple of tweaks just to make it a little bit more interesting. Yeah. Um, but you know, it's it's basically MP10, but it looks way better in robot mode. In right. fact, buying this, and I, I don't even like looking at MP10 anymore. Hmm. Like, it's not bad, but his weird proportions well, become more apparent. So one thing I admired about him in your set was, mm -hmm. is at first, I hated his kind of washy paint style. Yeah, it's like a pastel paint at style. First, yeah. But the more I've washed it, I kind of like that it's a, uh, it looks like a faux vinyl figure at times. Yeah, a little bit, so yeah. I, I kind of like it the yeah. more I looked at it. Like, it looks... Like, it's just going to be some superposable yep. figure that doesn't transform. And I think that's kind of the allure of yes. it. Yes. So I think this was this company's, like, first major figure. But they also do a bunch of smaller figures. I, I, don't, I have the Cyclone. You do. Yeah. yeah, you do. And, and they actually made a Legends class version of this figure. And apparently he's amazing. Hmm. The only weird thing is his chest right here is just kind of blue. And you can see inside of it, which I'm not a huge fan of. Like, you can see his, his matrix is just yeah. kind of there. Which I kind of wish they had like the covering like yeah. MP10 does. Well, and stuff. It was like a wet t-shirt contest. Maybe, yeah. yeah. But he also, now that I have a bunch of Optimus Primes, he comes with a bunch of battle damage parts. Did like he's got he's got a little battle damage to the side right here, and oh, he's like got some movie. yeah he's got some like Crack. shots the cracks on the screen. So I'm probably gonna dig his box out and swap those out just to kind of differentiate. just to kind of differentiate it a little cool. bit. Yeah, but he also has a super clean back. Yeah, yeah. Like he's got which, a super clean back, which, which I, for I some like. reason like that. $500 Optimus. Awful uh, back. Yeah. Yeah, same, it's like sticks it's out just, this it's, far. Well, it's yeah. the same as the Megatron. It's yeah. Like, it's all like kibbly and weird. And yeah. it's like, it's like that clip of The Simpsons where Homer had himself. Yes, he has. It's like, he's, he's, yeah. Like what, a bunch of clothes uh, hangers pulled on the skin back. I think they just kind of figured people are only going to display these from the front. And, so and that's true. That, that's yeah, true. But true. at the same time, like, I'm, I'm not gonna for, just look I'm at it from the front. Four hundred fifty dollars on a toy. Fucking right. finish the toy. That, right, exactly. Just exactly. It. I think my favorite part about all these new ones is the legs. I, the legs just look so. They're giving him his anime boots. Yes, exactly. He's got his like <laughs> his swooped anime boots. It's, it's, it's Mega Man. It's and Mega I like the different Man. shades of blue. I do too. Like the lighter blue, the darker blue. I can yeah. tell the difference. That's how cool it is. I feel like he's lying to me right now, but I can see there's a difference, and I don't know who told him. I probably is. No one told me. Ruins literally no, if you, if you ask me which of these two blues right here this one matches, I couldn't tell you. Is it this one? Is it, Are these the same? I don't or know. Or are these the is same? It? Is the, it? Is the butt the same as this one or this one? Is the shin match the butt or does the <laughs> lower shin match? What's the... up, baby? Does the shin match the butt? <laughs> I'm sorry. Does the calf match the butt? Is the... That's like a, it's like one of those weird pickup lines. Some girl to the calf is the calf the match the butt. That's so that's that's my top. It's a solid. That's a my number four. four. That's my four. yeah. What's your number four third party bot? My number four has made an appearance on the show this year. Ooh. Oh. This is Thundercles. Or it's not, uh, it's not fun. It's not. Yeah, this is uh, Make Toys Buster Stealthwing from the Cross Dimension line. Mm -hmm. He is a super big. Black bomber, and I, yeah. love, I love him so much. The only problem I have with him is he takes up so much goddamn space. He does. He's very wide. Shelf. Yeah, yeah. But cross dimensions, because I just kind of jumped in and weird. Because I, I basically only have the Nemesis yep. from that line. So yep. I have him, and then the two versions of the Nemesis primes. Yep. But they look super great together. And even though this is like a non jet fire or a reverse jet fire mm -hmm. or whatever, he's. Super fun. He's yeah. Super poseable, obviously. I always do the Thundercles pose because he just made me feel, just reminded me of Thundercles' action. He does. He look, he's just the big arms. Yeah. It's the big arms. He was just a super fun figure, and I do not regret buying him. But I got him in January yeah? of, of last year. So he was way at the beginning. He still just kind of hung on all yeah, year. Yeah, that's how good he is. Yeah, he yeah. was super fun. Like, I, I knew instantly, like, it's going to take a lot because. 
he, like the shockwave I just had on, just sat on my desk for like a month before I actually decided Did, to play like, anymore. Play, yeah. yeah, I just kept arranging him. Like, I always had like, I had my music desk where mm -hmm. I have like my bots, and I would just kind of right. set him in there and I'll like fuck around with him for a while. And he stayed a bit longer than some of the other ones because yeah. he was fun to pose. He is. So I, I got the white version of this for Christmas. Yes. I had a hard time not putting him on this list. Part of why, the reason why, and spoiler, he's not on my list, uh, is actually because mine came misassembled. And the first time I tried to transform him, I realized that, like, it's the back shins right here. Yeah. There's the same part on both. So the, it, I thought it was weird that one would tag in and one would. Right. So I just figured, oh, whatever, maybe I'm just not doing it right. But when I tried to transform him, I noticed that, like, you couldn't peg two things in together because they were the same part instead of opposite exactly. parts. Exactly. So I, I emailed the place where my wife got him, and they had they had me strip the whole figure back. So I haven't gotten it back yet, but I've, I haven't had a chance to really play with it. So I just couldn't, in good conscience, put yeah. him in my top ten. Although I'm sure he's great. You uh, almost bought him. I did. And this I one. did. Uh, well, you almost bought this. I almost one. bought this one, and then but then I did. But you talked me, and you reminded me. No, that you would want the Jetfire. I want the version. white one. Yeah, I want the white one. Because that's it's Jet Fire's how colors. adamant he is about things like that. Like, <laughs> Don't make this to make me sound racist. <laughs> I just like the way he looks in the cartoon. I like my Jet Fires to be white. <laughs> I can't I can't say that without sounding like an awful person. Yeah, black Jet Fires matter, bro. <laughs> they do. They have their place. He was black in the movie because he's a black bird. I get it. It's fine. Yeah. But, like, if I'm going to be pairing up with Optimus Prime, I want him to be white. <laughs> <laughs> Light of freedom, birth of a nation. What are you doing? With this? Where are you going with this show? I don't like where this is going. Yeah, we're taking it. We're taking. We're pivoting. Yeah, we're, we're pivoting. Uh, we're pivoting dangerously. Yeah, that's right. Um, but yeah, I, I seriously uh, couldn't recommend this toy enough. And and uh, either one, either one. Yeah. yeah, he's not a masterpiece, but like. I guess because the Jetfire is big. Yeah, they're like the same size. Yeah, they really are. We scaled appropriately. Yeah, we did. Room. Yeah. Yeah. Because the last one, uh, I was a lot bigger than you. I mean, like... Well, not the last one. The last one was the same size, too. But the one before that. Yeah. 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 But I had, like, two... You had two dudes. Yeah. That's right. And I, like... You know, I like double teaming dudes. You love dudes. double teaming dudes. I love dudes. double teaming dudes. You love double teaming dudes. It's kind of dudes. my deal. Yeah. It's like your thing. Yeah. You want to double team these dudes with me? Yeah. Hi. Hi. We're back. We're still doing it. We're still doing these things. This time we're doing number four of our official Transformer. Transformer. And how? More than plows the field. What? Oh, Transformer. Transformer. I got it. See? I got it. You said it. I got it. I took it. I got it. No, I got it. I didn't it's mean good. That, no, it's fine. Okay. It's fine. It's, it's all right, buddy. Just shoot it's it. It's okay. No, shoot. it's okay. I should shoot the poop. No, it's okay. I should shoot the it's poop. It's okay. I should shoot the poop. Okay. Are you down with the sickness? I was. Okay, so we're doing official Transformers. Official. Round foe out of control. Keeping on with my theme of the night, if you will. I don't know why you said, like, if you will. If is you it, will. Is it a sexual thing? If you will. <laughs> I will. I will. This is uh, Transformers War for Cybertron Siege Voyager Class Optimus Prime. And Esquire. Esquire. And this is probably... As of now, that's up, that's out. I was gonna say you, you were gonna say your favorite, but then you remembered yeah. that, that. As of right now, that's out. Probably my favorite official like Chug non mat Yeah, Chug Optimus Prime. He's got a little bit of weird kibble here on the back and on his arms. But I like that they kind of worked it into like a vague jet. Pack yeah, it's homage. like a jetpack kind of thing. Like it's a vague homage. They covered their asses. Hundred percent. Yeah, he just he looks like Optimus Prime. Yeah. Which is, it sounds weird, because, like, of course he does. He's Optimus Prime. I, I believe we did him on the, uh, We did, episode. we did. It, it I was on your my, last my, round. My, my, my leader. I, my, is your entire siege set up all the guys we did on that President's Day episode? So far. So far. <laughs> so far. His alt mode's okay, but I love the robot mode so much. 
Because Optimus Prime is my favorite Transformer. Yeah. I mean, I've gone back and forth about who my favorite Transformer is, but when you look at my collection, it's very obvious who my favorite Transformer it, is. It's hard to say because I own an Optimus. Because I love Optimus Prime. He's sure. Pro, he's, he's, one of, he's, he's just he's, so iconic. He's in my top three Autobots yeah. forever. And I own an Optimus Prime collection because it's hard not to. It's hard That's not to. That's collection. true. You have so many Optimus Primes, you either distribute them among different collections, but you're always left with extra Optimus yeah. Primes, or you can just combine them into one shelf. It, it's really hard to not like Optimus. I feel like... If we're being honest, if you don't like Optimus, you're just being a contrarian cunt. That's like, true. Like that's 100% it, true. It's fair to say tough truth, yeah, but truth. It's fair to say like he might not be your favorite Autobot. That's fine. But yes. to say you don't like him at all, like, come on, dude. No, no, come no. Come on, no. bro. I'm a little bit of a contrarian cunt when I say I don't really like Superman because I think he's boring. But I will admit that he looks cool. Oh, like I, if no, if no. you draw, it show me a picture of Superman like a cool flying pose. I'll be like, yep, he looks awesome. No, see. Yeah. I'm the train way. I think he looks lame as fuck. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But I also hate like Ubermensch characters. Sure. Yeah. I, I don't like all powerful. U Ubermensch. Yeah. Like... Well, that's what he is. He's such a mensch. He's an Ubermensch. Like, that's what he's supposed to. That's why he was created. He was... Yes, I know, because he is created by the Jews. Yeah, I'm saying he's an Ubermensch. <laughs> he's just. But also, I just Superman. Is it my toy? Yeah, it's your turn. My toy. It's your turn. This is really hard. Isn't this it? This is a really hard decision. It's a hard decision. I'm gonna go the same way I went the last one. Okay. Ooh. Oh. I am choosing uh, Transformers, War for Cybertron, Sausage, Skywarp. Yeah. I love this mold. Sure. I, we've talked about it several yeah. times on the show. Uh, this mold is great for Seekers. I'm super pissed off that we're going to Earthrise and we're mm -hmm. ditching this because I just yep. I liked all the dynamics of this mold. I liked that it kind of had a cool backpack. Um, but really what hit me off for this was this was the first line that gave me a full set of Seekers. Yeah, that that's actually, true. That me I, too. That I actually cared me too. about buying. Yeah, me like, too. And um, Skywarp is my favorite of the three just because I like the color scheme. I'm mm -hmm. not going to lie. I'm a petty bitch. I get it. Yep. The reason why he's number four on my list instead of higher, because I love this mold, mm -hmm. I love mm -hmm. the character, is how you had to get him. It was bullshit. That's because sure. they always do it with Skywarp because yep. they know, Hasbro totally yep. knows that he's the cult favorite character. Yeah. Although I feel like if they'd done it with Thundercracker, people still would have bought it just to complete the set. I definitely would have been lazier about it. Yeah. But as soon as he yep. popped up, I was like... Pre yeah, that. same. He is the same folly as my shockwave round, but he was going to make it on this list either way, but what sets him on the number four slot was his price point. I definitely feel bad for the people who did not jump on it. Yeah. Uh, and now he's a really expensive He's very figure, expensive, yeah. But I feel like it'll go down once his Earth Rise comes out. Um, people will be like, well, I want the iconic jet one because I'm a G1 guy. I just like this mold a lot, and and it's a good mold. I got kind of tired of everything being a fucking F fifteen. Yeah, all yeah, it's it's time. a fun little Tetra Jet, yeah, Battle Star Galactica guy. Yeah, well, and I loved just all the posability yeah. with this thing. We've just documented it. you can go super crazy with him. Yep. I hated that the reason he was so expensive is you had to give him an unnecessary shit like this. Yeah, they gave him three of those battle masters. Yeah, they gave him this axe one and then two gun ones. But one of yep. the gun ones is actually technically Spinister's gun guy. Yep. So there's also that. Yeah. But. I love the way they made the front of the jet split apart and become yeah. the, the little pylons for the, the shoulders. It's very clever engineering. Yes, it is. And I think what's kind of accidentally appropriate about these being in number four is they share a very unique aesthetic that I think is what made Siege so great, is this weird, fantastic yes. shoulder molding. Yeah, like you yeah. can go all over with it. Like they kind of paneled it a bit, but, yep. but also like, so you still get his stacks, but you get the, li they lift up and they yep. actually make him so you can pose. Yep. Which has been a very... And you have wrist swivels, you've got everything. Everything that Transformers have been missing. The first G1 Transformers were bricks. They had yeah. absolutely no articulation. Well, and also, comparatively to, like, you compare this to the classic Seeker yeah. mold, like, the arms, oh, oh, yeah. the arms don't pose for shit. Nope, they don't have ankle tilt. These things are fucking wonders of engineering. Yep. So that's, that's the reason why he's my number four. Sure. His price point kind of sets him back a little yeah. bit. And I really could have chosen any of the molds on this. Uh, I really just liked the mold yeah. on this. This is my first Starscream I purchased, uh, was this mold, just so I could have one full three seeker set. Yeah. I'm kind of bummed out they shut down the siege line before we got cone heads. I agree. I, I would, and then we said this last episode, it's a shame 
that they ended Siege so soon. Yeah, I wish they had kept more space dynamic stuff. Yes. And then gone to Earth with the next trilogy. Yes. Uh, I mean, we know that next Optimus Prime looks fucking so fantastic. So good, so good. And I'm sure yeah. a lot of the figures are going to follow in this line of ultra-dynamic like detail and posability. Mm -hmm. Still kind of bums me out. Yeah, but it does. This is, this is my number four, and I love him. That's, that's fair. It's good yeah. number four. It's good number four. It's good number four. Yours is a good number four. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. 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 So, welcome back to round, well, no, we're not doing rounds, no, this, this is, this is number three. three. Across the board. Across the board, number three. We're starting with threeps. That's right. Third party, three. See third party. 33rd, 33rd party. See third party -os. Yeah, that's right. But before we hop into it, let's do a shot into it. Uh. I like the apple. I'm gonna hop into my number three here. And again, keep in mind that my number three and my number four are interchangeable. They're basically equal, but I couldn't make them equal. So I had to put one over the other. It's just like slightly too far away, so hold on. Separate but equal is how he's treating this. Because once again, he's all about his white jet fires, separate but equal. I also like my swoops blue. What are you gonna do about it? I like my Switch Blue, too. Okay, fair enough. So, and I had him on, was it two episodes ago? Was it? With the wedding episode. It was the wedding episode, yes. yeah. So, yes. this is Giga Power Swoop. Fresh oh, into my... Um, not, it's not Swoop, it's uh, God and Toi. God and Ter. God and Toi. God and Ter. Which is a Latin word, and I don't remember what it means, but... God and God and Yeah, that's it. No. Right. I love Swoop. But tell Swoop I love good, all the dinos. But tell Swoop good part. Tell Swoop good... Swoop is the good part. Swoop was the good part the whole time. I like Slag better. Slag, that's fine. I mean, I like all the dino care bots. If, I don't care it's, if he's a brilliant bologna. Every, I don't care. I every dino bot that I'm currently holding is my favorite dino bot. Hashtag guess all dino bots. Yeah, it's exactly. And I'm like, oh, this is my favorite dino bot. And then I pick up another one. Oh, this is my favorite dino bot. Hashtag all dino bots. I mean, you bots. have... Cl they, they made classic dinosaurs. So this is Giga Power. They basically just... Um, they were like, fans toys made... Made a uh, masterpiece uh, Dinobots. They made them bigger than than, than Hasbro's or Takara's. We're gonna make them even bigger. <laughs> well, they only made the one bigger than the one Takara because Takara's making masterpieces up to the 40s now, and there's still only Grimlock Takara. True, that's still true. But only Grimlock. But when Takara. but when uh, when Fans Toys released their first know, one, they had, they released like boots. I know, but I'm saying is like to make them it, taller. It's a slide of Takara. We're it up is. to the 40s. And we still only have a Grimlock. Like that's the true. Most that's true. Team yeah. of all of Transformers yeah. history. Are you yeah. fucking and, and like, what's what's wrong with you? Yeah. But uh, but can I do a real quick thing? My favorite sure. thing about this toy. Yeah. His tootsie knees. Yes. The the his the, the, the feet the feet knees. His toots knees. His, he's he's the feet knees. He's the feet knees. He's the feet knees. I mean, he, he's basically imagine like a a pterodactyl just landed on two sticks. <laughs> Oh, it's a pterodactyl, and there are already two boots. Yeah. Like and he's like, I want to He just stand perches on, on top boots. of them. Yeah. He's trying to get on the uh, roller coaster, but yeah. he's too short. Yeah, he's a puss in boots. That's right. He's, he's like three kids in a trench coat. Yeah. <laughs> That's why he wants to know good part. He wants to know good part. So I talked about him he, a lot in the yeah, episode, so I don't, I don't really have a lot. You other does. than I just, I love, I got the chrome version. He's shiny as He's fuck. shiny. He he's glimmers. huge. In pterodactyl he's mode or whatever, he's right just now. got a wingspan that's, I mean, I can just, I mean, I can just. Span for span, days, bro. I can, I can pull out his wingspan here. I it? identify. I'm six foot five. Yeah. I also have an, I also have a very look, long wingspan. Look at this wingspan, man. I have to fold it up just to fit him on the look, shelf. I'm like swoop. Yeah, you are swoop. Tall swoop, good part. I feel like he's like my Batman chest. Yeah. <laughs> I am Swoop Man. I am Swoop Man. What did you bring? What's your number? So three. Much like how your three Third and party. four were interchangeable, yeah. my three and two oh. are going to be interchangeable. Okay. Here. Um, because this is a really hard call, and I feel like I'm going to go with. I believe his match. Oh, for that episode. yeah. I'm going to go with MMC Rap Bat. Again, interchangeable with my number two. I just, 
I don't know. You had to pick one. I, you yeah, had to I, pick I, one. I had to pick yeah. and I chose in the moment. Same episode. So we yeah. covered it fairly recently. Uh, it's a redeco of their Drift mm-hmm. homage. Yep. They announced this at the... Was it the Virginia TFCon? I think so. There was. And luckily, Jim from Distortion Productions, our friend, was Shout out there. to you, Jim. I asked him if he could pick it up for me, and show sure enough, he did. And show sure enough, show sure enough, it is a f- glorious figure. This made I asked Jim what his top list was in the same way we broke it down. Yeah, it, it's hard to choose. It's when, hard to choose when you're doing three P and regular. It's really it's hard, hard to choose because it's not fair. The money yeah. becomes a factor. It does. Um, and so I asked him, and this would made his top list too. I think it was also his number three, actually. Another thing about number funny. two, yeah. Yeah, era. It's a super fun figure, and I always kind of regretted I didn't get the um, scourge repaint. Mm-hmm. But that was always like too much money. Like sure. I've never seen it for less than forty, and I don't want to pay for it more yeah. than forty for like a chug skill yeah. scourge repaint. The only thing that's problem with this is I love this figure so much because they did a scourge repaint. They did a Serpentor version. Oh, yes. I really wonder if they're going yes. to Serpentor this version. Yes. And will I have to buy both? For sure. And that's the part that scares me the most. Yeah. But this is a super... If they do a, uh, a Serpentor one, I'm buying it. Yeah. Like, I'm not even thinking about not buying it. Yeah, because it, it fulfills the G.I. Joe This question. I command. I mean, this is a very pretty sculpted figure. Oh, he is. Figure, He's a fantastic looking figure. But you could definitely see where the Serpentor oh, points easily. come into it. And Serpentor was so... Lame. Oh, and so lamest. cool at the same time. I think the reason I love Serpentor mm-hmm. is because like he was super tough and lame and stupid. Yep. The same way Galvatron was. Yes. So it was like my transitive. Well, character. they were kind of the the same kind of thing where it was like A one s- step up from the previous bad yeah. guy. Yeah. So like I loved them both, and mm-hmm. also because mostly just because they looked super cool yeah. and cheesy and. In the era we grew up in, that was like that was a delineation of what was cool. For sure. If you really look at those early '90s characters, you love the fashion choices of. Mm-hmm. I love Gambit to death. Yeah. What the fuck? Is what, he is, what is he wearing? A trench coat? And what is under that? And that pink yeah. weird metal shirt. A pink metal shirt with yeah. some black tights. But am I into it till a- I die? Percent. I would die on that hill. Till I die. Like Terry Bogar with his weird star vest. I'm in it. I'm gonna have sex with him every day it's, if I get a it's chance. It's everything I've ever wanted. And he's in the same boat. Like, I love how cheesily rat batty <clears throat> this is, and just how just fucking ridiculous this toy is. So, yeah. he definitely fits into my spectrum, but just, you know, that's a Serpentor face. 100%. It's weird that these two have lined up in the same. Because th- th- this were our something they new, were, right? I think, I think yeah. they were. Yeah. 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 Then we lined them up together that way. Yep. It's funny we meet here in this sexful round. Tell Swoop. Sexy part. This episode is sponsored by Fly Nova. Bye! <laughs> Just gonna stay there. Just gonna stay there. Just gonna stay in the corner flashing. Why have you forsaken me? <laughs> This is me in the corner. This, <laughs> this is, is me, me at the spot. Light, light, light flashing. <laughs> <my religion. laughs> okay, so a Chinese company sent me like weird flying six drums. of those for some reason because they like my videos. Honestly, I was gonna ignore it, and now I feel like I have to make a video for we it. We drunkenly started playing with it on yeah. camera, and it's become a part of our lives that yeah. we can't ignore. Yeah. I will torture my cats with it. I've done a couple like sponsored videos, but I don't like it. I don't feel comfortable doing it, especially with something like I've had I've had people from like jewelry places and things, and like glasses, like it's like yeah. trying to get me to do videos for you them. You do wear like, glasses. I do, but like my viewers don't watch me because I wear glasses. As you know, I watch you. But I feel like unless it has something specifically to do with my interests, I don't care. But that's a flying. I actually, I actually kind of like this. It is literally a flying robot. It looks like a Cosmo. And and it uh, is a Cosmos. Yeah, God, yeah. But our funny uh, shots cast moment yeah. was the noise it makes is really loud. Yes. And it made me think of the movie Screamer yes. with Peter Weller. So I looked up a trailer for Screamer. We, watch, we watched the trailer for it, and it starts with "In a World." It's like well, it's, it's so '90s. And it's Peter Cullen is the voice in the trailer. In a world, Optimus Prime talks about things that scream. In the future, in the with future. Peter Weller, and they're human now. I just like that our life always comes back comes together. Full circle. Optimus Prime is full circle. Optimus Prime is life. Should we do the show? Yeah. To Peter Cullen. To Peter Cullen. And your Screamers trip. Oh. Oh. Uh. 
<sighs> so my number three official buy. We're going a full official. Full fish. What's your number? What's your number three? Mine is actually very similar to your number five. Well, hey now. But it's just it is your number five. But it it's is mine. But five. it's mine. So we. I don't really have to talk much about this guy. Right. Because we talked about this guy to death. We did an episode, you did it earlier. I, I just happen to like this one more than you because I'm not letting the price get me down. Because I think, I, I'm kind of like where you are. I've always wanted... A chug wave. A chug wave. Yeah. And the fact that the chug wave what ended up being so good. Mm -hmm. And I love the options you have with them. Honestly, I think the people that complain about the price for this... Like, get, just get the fuck over it. Yeah. Like, get the fuck over I mean, it. I'm going for just as a toy. Yeah. Like, I'm not saying I enjoy paying $50 for it. But when I have it on my shelf, I don't think about the fact that I paid $50 for this. I just think about how much fun I have with it, all the different things I can do with it, uh, and I love it. I love that you can have them. I do. I love that you just have a, reg, uh, like a fantastic shockwave mm -hmm. by himself. It's a great shockwave. But then... His little like power sled thing here becomes like an upgraded shockwave with like a Mecha Shiva arms and yeah. shit. So he's like shock goblin. Exactly. But then on top of that, if you put him in his alt mode with his like spaceship thing, he has regular like mode, and then he has like full god century hyperforce. Mecha Shiva, Mecha yeah. Well, just the, the the spaceship. I mean. Oh yeah. Where yeah. He, has, he has like. You mean his not totally a laser gun mode? Right. It's an upside down laser gun. His, but it, his it looks like a. It, it looks like a. It, yeah. It, it looks like one of those animes. It's like like Captain Harlock you or suck whatever. My battleship. Yeah. Yeah. Where it's like super god mega force hyper strike. Go. Yeah. Exactly. But is it my turn? Uh. Yeah. It is. But before, before it's your turn, I want to. I just wanted to talk about more fun stuff from from the year. Okay. Uh, number one, the next one I want to talk about because uh, I have a list of these uh, is the time. Where are you getting these lists? Is the time that um, Ty Tyler, Poppy Blaz, Poppy Blaz, Poppy Blaz wanted to come hang author, out with us. Author, author of, of the award winning. Oh, it is the award winning. Transformers, Transformers Galaxy, Galaxy Constructor Cons Rising. Up. Yeah. He, uh, he's like, hey, I like you guys. I want to hang out. And we went and hung because out. We met, with, we, we met and we drank with him oh, at, yeah, the at, at the Vista Cola show. Quite a lot. He was one of the few people that actually drank drank with Yeah, it's true. Everyone else like did like, they'd, like we do a courtesy shot. <laughs> <laughs> no, he drank no. with us. Or some, I'm not going to name any names, did fake shots. We're looking at you, buddy. You know who you are. Looking at you. But not Poppy Blaze. Not Poppy Blaze. Poppy Blaze. No, Poppy Blaze bled down. for us. Yeah. And then he came down he to did. our town. Yeah, that's right. And we went toy running. We went toy hunting. We, we went, went, we went we to uh, toy, addicts. toy Addicts and then to Rocket, um, TC's Rockets. TC's Rockets. We hung out with him Yeah. his super awesome wife. Oh, a super awesome wife. fucking cool. We had a great time just palling around, driving down yeah. to San Diego, just kind of hanging out and being rad. Just chatting it just up. Just chatting it up. Yeah. All the work we've put into the show, that's like the culmination right there. Yeah. I think hanging out with Tyler. For me. Of all of it. Yeah. Yeah. Not for me yet. Um, we haven't achieved the weird Transformers murder orgy cult. That is where I am hanging in. <laughs> that's like S class. <laughs> and that's where I'm hanging yeah. in. All, all right. right. All right. I dream big. Right. I right. see far into right. the stars. If Poppy so, Blaz wants to be a part of a weird Transformers orgy cult, you know what? He, he's I, invited. I don't think he wouldn't be. <laughs> Permanently invited. But bring Levy up. Yeah. He seems like he'd be fun. He seems so just DTF. Just rail out. Just, just railing him out while he's drawn. And Levy, I hope he's totally cool with me making this joke that I hope at some point Mike puts on the internet. Levy Romandelli just railing him out. Which brings me to my second favorite place is when we all also went up to his comic shining and we got to hang out with him. I, I just, it was surreal. And like a f hour span, I met... You know, Tyler, who we're friends with, but he's like a big deal. But Levio, like, I knew who Levio was going into it. Yeah, we knew. So, yeah, we, we've like, I, I, we know you know, I, I love his art. So meeting him was like, oh my God. But then on top of that, like standing next to me for like a good half hour is fucking Chris Metzen, writer of Transformers comics slash everything for World of Warcraft. He refused to shake your hand. <laughs> 
I know, I know. It was a kid mistake. I understand. It's but fine. refused to shake your hand. He's he Chris Metzen. He took a picture with me and he chatted with me and everything was fantastic. He gave you the hover hand. He did. He did not. He touched me. Not emotional. Chris Metzen. Not touched. emotional. Being being within the same room as Chris Metzen touches you emotionally. Yeah. But then on top of that, we hung out with uh, Frank, Frank Capra. Yeah, hey, he was a super nice dude. Super nice dude who also, was. Part of my Galvatron fam. That's right. I never was. He's like a main Galvatron. character on this like well-known TV show, and we're just hanging out with him at like a comic book shop in Orange yeah. City. It's a fucking weird time. Yeah. We're living in weird times. What weird. do you got? That's a weird transition, but I have a thing. I have a thing. Yeah, I know. Number number three. Number three. Top bot. Oh yeah. I'm going with Transformers War for Cybertron Siege, Walgreens exclusive, Ratchet. My love for Ratchet um, was for me in the comics. Mm-hmm. I liked him in, in the uh, More Than Meets the Eye series with the yeah. uh, Lost Light. And so I wanted him for my shelf. And all we had was that fucking god awful universe. Awful universe, Ratchet. And, that, and that's adding on the fact that Ratchets were, have been unanimously terrible throughout almost all of Transformers history. Yeah. I mean, you had, like, the original G1 was fucking a headless garbage pe- True. garbage pile. Yep. You've had, like... I mean, like... Uh, Other than a masterpiece ratchet, and, there hasn't been a good ratchet. Animated was okay, but it's very but it's very stylistic to animate. What? Like, Primes wasn't bad. No, Primes wasn't bad. Like, you could put Prime a bit better than that one, but even yeah. then, this one is literally one geared towards the G1 aesthetic. It True. is a repaint and remold. Like, even the detailing mold uh-huh. that is shown is different. Yep. Of Ironhide, yep, which is great. And Ironhide would have might have been in my top list. He had some issues, like his like hollow back stuff and whatever, and his weird his weird clear chest. But with the blue screen and everything, this fulfilled the figure for me. Yeah, it, it took the Ironhide mold and made the necessary steps he had to do to ratchet, and yep. it feels like a different figure. Like it you, does. You can put them side by side, and it feels different. Yep. You get the proper head sculpt. You yeah. get some different accessories, like the cool little wrench. Yep. And he just pops. And Ratchet I, is definitely the better of the two, for sure. And I got this, despite the fact that I found it readily down the street from me, the, my local Walgreens, but I got this from Papa G. Yeah, you did. Papa Gord hooked me up with this sweet beauty a bit before I found mine. Uh, and he went lovingly into my collection next to his boy toy Drift, because in IDW... I mean, Autobot, the robots don't have... Yeah, yeah, they don't have genitals. They don't have genitals. It's fine. Yeah. But it feels weird to finally have an Ironhide and a Ratchet that are right. Sure. After Absolutely. so long. Yep. To have, like, a perfect set. And yep. so to finally have the Ratchet amongst the two of them... Yep. Ironhide just comes with, like, a weird bazooka yeah. hammer gun. Yeah. But he, he comes with, like, the shoulder cannon Yeah, thing. his accessories yeah. feel perfect for him. Yeah. He just feels like a ready-to-go figure. Yep. Like, he's a repaint, remold, but in the most yep. honest way that... Hasbro actually does with their market. Absolutely. So, so that's why he's number three on my list. He was a present, which makes him an added gift. Yeah, he, he has a, a he has that kind of sentimentality. Yeah, he's a cool exclusive, and he's just a fucking fun figure. And honestly, he and the Skyform were kind of interchangeable. Mm-hmm. But I feel like just the fact that this was a gift from Papa G kind mm-hmm. of pushed him into that next level for me. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yep. So that's my number three, baby. Cool baby. Baby B. Cool baby. Baby B. Cool baby. Baby B. Baby B. Okay, so, oh, all right, uh, this is number two. Two. We're getting up to the tippy top. We're getting up there. <coughs> so, for my number two, third party, this was tough. My number two and my number one, again, Almost interchangeable, but not I, quite. I'm in the exact same not boat. Quite, not I, quite. Not quite. I'm in the exact same boat, but yeah. I definitely am hedging one versus the other. I have Giga Power Grimlock, or Super Raider. Grimlock. Sa Grimlock. So this is unprecedented. We have two Giga Power figures in the same year. What? It took us, I think the what? first one came out in 2014. And then we got one in like 2015, one in 2016, like not even so that. I think it was longer than that. Yeah, yeah. I think I think the no, next I, one. I, I think you had two years between. There's like two release, years in like between. 20, it was like it was like 2015. I think it was between Grassor and, and Slug. In between Slag and Sludge, there was like two years. When we got Swoop, I thought, okay, that's gonna be my 
my Giga Power for the well, year. In 2022, I'll probably get Grimlock. And yeah, I exactly. Can cap the collection. Yeah, and I can die. Yeah, exactly. I can finally yeah. let go of. I this. just did not expect to get two in the same year. And now he can't kill himself because he made the pack for 2022. And even even getting him, I'm think I'm thinking like it's just Grimlock. There's only so many ways you can do Grimlock. You know, he's been done. So he's many been times. done so many like, times. We we've, we've gone like full DP, like double anal. It's with, true. Like, like, you know, we've, like, it's true. Ask the mouth. We've, Absolutely. We've done him every way imaginable but the like thing Giga Power found a way they did man and the thing about this is there, there's no game changer Grimlock transformation no. here this is essentially not super different from the Grimlock like even MP he's not the same but he's not super different but feel this bad boy right here uh, he's heavy right the top heavy yeah yeah, the bottom but, is a little bit lighter, but he's but, but, he, but he's, his he's stable. So solid. He's stable. Yeah. yeah. I feel like him and I could have a relationship. Oh, him. for sure. My only gripe about him is that his eyes on his uh, dino mode are red, and there's no way to change them to blue. Oh. And that's kind of a bummer. Even the official masterpiece had it so you can switch them to red to blue. You're going full stickler. I do prefer blue. You're going full stickler. I, 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 I prefer blue eyes Grimlock, and that's actually one of the reasons why he's not number one. Because he does come with... I like uh, a red eyes head. I like that my delineation for number one is price point, but yours is this Grimlock's head is not uh, Dino head is not blue eyes. Uh, so, another cool uh, thing: the the red eyes head has like teeth on the little faceplate right mm -hmm. here. But like he comes with his gun, he comes with his sword, he comes with the crown. This guy is the king, and is you know that happens with all of them. Uh, is that the the swords are heavy? They have like light up features. I don't have the batteries in them. Uh, but oh. I just got this. I ordered this guy, and this is a tough one for me because I ordered this guy on December twenty sixth. Mm -hmm. That no, not even December twenty sixth. Mm -hmm. I ordered this Christmas night. We've discussed this. Yes, we have, and we've decided, and we don't know if anyone feels about this. Yeah. But a lot of us, you know, we we all have lives and adult, or yeah. adults. We got people to give us gifts. Yes. A lot of times they wait until Christmas type to give us gifts. Yeah. So a lot of times we don't get our gifts till Christmas. So we we were talking about that we figure the end of the year thing is you got like 10 to 14 days into the next year of when your package finally arrives exactly. to declare it for the previous. As long as it was purchased for the year that's where I, That's where I count it. If it was available to purchase, like not a pre-order, but like a purchase. Yes. In that like, year. Like it could have shipped out and yeah. gotten to you. Yeah. So I purchased mine Christmas night, December 25th. It shipped out December 26th. I will count it. But I didn't get it until like January 3rd. As a man with a wall of Transformers, I will count. Yes. Count I do kind of wish that I had waited. I hadn't waited because uh, during Christmas time, he was 200 instead of 220 or whatever. So I, I spent $20 more, but I also got the very last one on TF Source. I'm not going to lie. There's one thing that's always bugging me about Grimlock. Yeah. 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 He's got three fingers when he should have he two. He always has three. He always has three. But he should have always two. Have two. I, I get it. I'm just saying. But to be fair, to be fair, in their defense, he's built, not a naturally occurring robot. They just got a detail wrong. Also, Wheel Jack sucks. Wheel, Wheel Jack sucks. Wheel Jack misses the mark. He does. This is it's not Grimlock's fault. It's, it's not, not Grimlock's fault not that he has the wrong number of digits. It's not uncommon. He didn't ask to be born with three fingers. He didn't. No, he but didn't. But he was. But he was. But he was. He was. Do you ever feel like Transformers use their ratchet joints to disguise their farts? Like, oh, it's oh, the ratchet! Just, just lifted up my arm, not yeah. me farting. Oh, 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 didn't fart there, just had to lift it up. What are some figures you didn't buy this year that you wish you had? Um, that came out this yeah. year? Um, I wish I had jumped on Magic Square Optimus Prime. Okay. I didn't jump yeah. on that. Um, I wish I had jumped on Omega Supreme. Me too. Siege. That's that's my number one. Siege of Omega Supreme. That, the Siege Omega Supreme is my number one regret for not buying this year. Um, that's one of the ones Although I have, I mean, I have the Wei Jing Omega Supreme. Exactly, but but I still like the way the it looks. Siege, yeah. You, well, you kind of bought in the Siege line. What figures do you wish you had purchased this year? Oh, Omega Supreme is at the top of the list for me, num for sure. Yeah. I didn't get hardly any official MPs this year and that's that's unusual for me because I no, usually at least get you're one. You're an MP collector. I so. am. Um, the only one that I really would have though just based on price and stuff is either the Hound which I'm kind of glad I didn't because apparently they're breaking. Yeah, I heard a lot, um, a lot of issues. Or the Black Arachnia. And I think Black Arachnia is the like my first 
regret is not getting Omega Supreme. My second regret is not getting Black Arachnia. I feel like with Black Arachnia, I, I'm torn because she's small. She's small, so the hundred and forty dollar price point. Yeah, is if too she much. were like eighty, but, I, I would wouldn't even think about it. But but if you think, I, but but the part of my stupid ass like rationaling mm-hmm. my stupid hobby brain is just yeah. like. A figma of that toy yeah. that actually transforms, it's a pretty fair price. Absolutely. But it's not a figma, so it shouldn't be. Yeah. Anyway, I didn't buy it because the price point was fucking Yeah, 140 serious. is... I, I mean, she comes with a lot of stuff, though. She comes with, like, a web, a stand. But just for as much as... It, yeah. As small as it is, I just... I, I, from the pictures, you don't realize how small it is. No, yeah. That, that's kind of what... When you see it posed next to other other toys, you're like, oh, and that's what broke me on it. Yeah. I, I seriously yeah. considered her for the longest time, and then I finally saw her yeah. in the size comparison. I still might get her, but I oh, didn't no. get her this year. If she dropped to 120, I'd do it. But 140 is just too much, too, yeah. It, it crosses this weird, like, tax bracket sure. barrier or yeah. something in my brain. I'm like, no, I can't, I can't do that one. But the other ones, like the Megatron that came out and the Optimus Prime that came out, don't care. Yeah. Don't care that I didn't get them. Name a little bit. This is my turn. It's your turn. <sighs> Making decisions. I am. Hard decisions. It's a last minute decision. Yeah. I'm I gonna, feel like this is a good I'm going to keep combo. it primitive. Yeah. I'm going to keep the call of the primitives alive. This is uh, Mastermind Creations. Uh, I don't even know what the fuck the name is called. This is Skylinks. Yeah. I this is their Sky. I can't remember what it's called anymore. Yeah. It's like Inventa yeah, and Magna, yeah, Magna Inventa. Inventa. Yeah. Um, this is actually two figures, uh, obviously. Yeah, they released really them in two figures. separate things. The bottom half, the Magna, I believe mm-hmm. it was, came out at the end of, t- of last 18. year. Yeah. Of 18. Uh, Wasn't that on your top 10 last year? It would have been. Okay. Except that it wasn't complete. Right. And, okay. I, and when I brought it up on the show... Uh, I wanted to do this, but it's not fair to do the individual just, figure. Just, just a half figure? Would you let me count it for this one? And you said, yes, because yeah. this this figure comes out next year. Obviously, you can't do the combined mode until right. next year. Right. This came out, um, I got this right before bo- uh, TFCon. Right. right before TFCon. And I built it and sent you pictures. And you were like, god damn, that scale it is really It well. is really big. Uh, and I actually brought... I see figure. your neck is nice. A lot of people I think were playing with the neck. Oh yeah, mine's a little loose. Yeah. It's okay. A little loose. Okay. But I do but have not a bad. part where it actually yeah. sticks like just fine up here. Yeah. This is like the only non-official Skylinks has been made, and he's actually pretty impressive. Yeah. He, honestly, he this is the first time I've really seen him in person. He's, he's big. Beautiful. He's big. Uh, in the right ways, and he's got die cast feet and some parts inside, so he's a hefty bot. And I didn't know that I cared so much until I had him, and he's super fun. He's a weird transformer because he doesn't have a robot mode. Yeah. He has an alt mode and then like a whatever that is mode. Yeah, it's like a dragon, yeah. I guess. He's a sky. It's like, hey, what if we had a space shuttle? And he turned into a dragon. A dragon. <laughs> but both parts are separate things. Right. So like the lander and then the shuttle are two separate. Like a bird thing and a lion thing. Skylinks. Yeah. I think of all of the Transformers, this one, when you think about it, is, is, the, the, is the weirdest. It's one of the stupidest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. MMC kind of came out of nowhere with this. So yeah, they did. Like, okay, here's this, here's this one part and the other part's coming out soon. And then... No one talked about it after that. Yeah, I feel I like... I feel like nobody has talked about it since then. I feel like the neck thing ruined it for people, and it's yeah. like, it's not great, but it could be a lot worse. worse. Yeah, I mean, it's fine here. It's, it's not It's not drooping down, exactly. Well, and there's ways... It you only could, droops it down if you, like, well, and there's touch ways, it. And there's ways you can hold it. I mean, it's a third-party toy. Sure. You're kind of rot with whatever inconsistencies are right. going to be with it. But it's honestly like a really fun set piece for your collection. It's it's like having sure. a cool combiner. It's like yeah. it's there. And it's cool. It's cool. It's complete. It hangs out. It's big. So that's why I did it for this round. It's it's the full Skylinks. Yeah. He looks exactly like what you'd expect a modern Skylinks to look like. He looks like the original toy, but updated appropriately. Yeah. That's why he's my number two. Like he feels completely appropriate to my collection without being. Ex- Extraneous? Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I agree. But, but yeah, I like him. He's a fun guy. Yeah. 
And these two are, are feeling the call of the primitive. Oh, right way, now. way primitive here. Yeah. We also have Predacon could be here. Yeah. I'll, I'll pull him down. No, don't. Okay. He's way up high. Yeah, good point. We're drunk. God, I'm feeling it. I am also feeling yeah, it. Yeah, I'm feeling it pretty good. So we're on number two, but official. Official. A fish. Shit. Oreos are the, are the knockoff cookie. The Hydrox. Was yeah, the yeah. The one that sounds like a chemical. Yeah, one hi, hi, uh, the cookies it's are Hydrox. Hydrox. Yeah. Hydrox. And then Oreo is like, we'll make those same things, and they're the ones that cut on because they had a better name. I just feel like. But who would want to eat Hydrox cookies? I feel like yeah. a chemical. Like, it does. Do you want some of those Hydrox? No. Why? I'm gonna die if I eat that. But what's that Oreo? <laughs> Can I get that Oreo stuff? Can I get the Oreo though? The Oreo doesn't sound like a chemical. Can I no, eat exactly. that? No, yeah. exactly. H2O is not Hydrox and not oxygen. That's right. Hydroxygen. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't that water? Isn't yeah. that water as Hydrox? Yeah. What are you trying to sell me, Hydrox? Like, else we name a Pokemon? It's true. Hydrox, I choose you. Do you, though? No. You never do. <laughs> Oh, uh, for my number two of fish, we're getting the deep cuts. Boom. Oh, shit. We're getting s sinister with spinister. Getting Mr. Spinister. Mr. Spinister here. Um, this is definitely one you're going to see on a future app whenever we do get to the Choppa 2. Yes, we have a few lined up. Yeah, that. we do. But um, also, it was cool to see Spinister because of IDW stuff. Yeah, Spin yes. IDW ba definitely, like, up Spinister's mm -hmm. brand recognition, I guess. Mm -hmm. His robot mode is so fucking clean. His transformation is cool. I like that it's like a total fake out. Yeah, it is. I love it the is. fake out. Yeah, part it's, yeah, because he's got two cockpits for legs. Yeah. Where does the second cockpit go? Yeah. I have, I, it was a lot of fun just to play around with. I, I literally had him sitting on my desk, kind of like you were talking about earlier, where I just had him on my desk and I was just digging around with him. Yeah. Uh, on and off for like a good solid week because he was, uh, he was just so fun to play with. There was something about the last line of uh, Siege that made no sense. It's true. You have Spinister, and then, who's like a, like not even a season three character. He's like a just a late like. He, no, he, he's, he's a double target master. I know, but that wasn't even in the cartoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, yeah. Yeah, he's out. He's post cartoon. Yeah, he's post cartoon. Because target masters were like the final of our yeah, season, yeah. Or of our season four. Yeah. And so he's double target master. Yeah, he's, just like it was like him and Scoop and, and yeah, yeah. yeah, other random yeah, crosshairs. Yeah, crosshairs. Yeah, is one. Yeah. So you get these jack offs. And then we get asked, we get Astro Train out of nowhere. Yeah, and, and then an ape face. An ape face. Yeah, yeah. we got a spinister. We got yeah, a proper. At spinister. the very least, we got a very got good, a, a very good spinister. In fact, it was my second favorite official figure of the year that yeah. I picked up. What colors do you think he is? Pink and black and silver. Let me tell you what colors he really is. Yes, please. Okay, so this part is chest, and yeah. this this is pink. Okay. This is purple. Oh, okay. This is blue. Interesting. Yes. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. Spinach is crazy. He's, he's, crazy, he's, got, he's changing he's got all, all the time. Crazy he's changing stuff. all the time. That's right. Wouldn't it be great if I was also a different kind of colorblind? So I was trying to educate you while also. And not you were way, color. way different colors. Yeah. yeah. Like, do you even know what color Galvatron is? He's been red the whole time. It's going to rock your world. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm going to jump into my number two pick of this. This is uh, Transformers War for Cybertron Siege Walmart exclusive Sound Blaster. I, very similarly to Shockwave, have always wanted to chug Soundwave. There has never been one. No, not really. Um, but as much as I love Soundwave, I've always liked Sound Blaster more because I like gothy repaints. I rarely if ever get crazy and try to hunt down Walmart or anything exclusive because mm -hmm. I'm fucking lazy as hell. But as soon as they announced this sort of Walmart exclusive, I hunted this shit down. Yeah. And I don't regret it. Yeah. He turns into a weird spaceship mode. Yeah, that's the... So I, I feel the same way about Soundwave. So my thing is, for Soundwave, yeah. I don't like it. Yeah. For Sound Blaster, I'm fine with it. Yeah. Because Soundwave's a tape deck guy. Right. Sound Blaster, I'm like... Whatever, he's a fucking cool dark repainting. He can turn yeah. to whatever. Whatever, whatever he wants. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I like that they actually 
one of the funnest parts is just like weird consideration. The fact that he has the double tape deck as an right. homage, I think that's really fucking fun and clever. Um, I love the overall like shape of this mold. He's like big, yes. chunky, like the robot supposed to be. mode is amazing. Yeah. yeah. The only thing, I, only problem I have with him is these gaps here, which I know I can buy fillers for. I'm sure. He just looks like a solid fucking sound wave. Yes. And even just on your shelf. Yes. He looks so solid. I chose him over Soundwave just because I always kind of like the Black Reaper. Like the Black Reaper better. I just yeah. liked it. I it thought, it looked, I yeah. thought it looked better. I thought he looked more diabolical. Sure. The yeah. only the only problem is that the eyes are wrong on both of them. You're supposed to switch. He's supposed to have yellow eyes. The other one's supposed to have red eyes. Yeah. And I know you can swap them, but I'm just lazy. It's so. a lot of work. Yeah, I don't. That's why this is my number two. Is he fulfills my my Soundwave chug lust, but pushes it a step further into what I always kind of wanted was a proper chug sound blaster more than a sound wave. Absolutely. It was an and it filled your void. Just like that. It was an behind. unexpected void that filled into my yes. butt from behind. It came out of nowhere, but I wasn't happy about it when it was there. It's interesting how much colors can make a difference. So like a lot of times, like a uh, third party or official even, will release like a prototype gray mold resin mm -hmm. picture of, and you're like, wow, that looks amazing. Because with the gray resin, you see all the little details yeah, yeah. and stuff. But then they throw color on it, and suddenly it doesn't look as cool. Yeah, sometimes the appeal goes yeah. right away. Like, yeah. I've been there with a few figures that yeah. companies have done. Like, that. wow, that looks amazing in gray, and then suddenly, like, oh, I no longer care about yeah. it. Yeah, even though you know exactly what colors it's going to be. Right. Like, you, you know that if you see, like, a grayscale blur, yeah. you know exactly what colors blur is going to be. Yep. It's going to be a, a, a several shades of blue. Blue, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Soundwave is fine, but when you paint him black, he becomes... Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. But so I wonder if that's like that's it. Like, like for them, they're like, oh, whatever. This figure sucks, because they don't care. Right. They didn't grow up with either of these two. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. The world's a scary place. Hold me like the river Jordan, not holding safely. That you are my friend. It's about touching kids. Is that yeah. what the song's about? Well, it's Michael Jackson. You keep knocking over my figures. I, and not only not, I knocked over the kid, <laughs> like Michael Jackson. It was meant to be. Anyway. Well, hi, welcome back. We're, we're just rolling through. Final we're, round. No, no, no. No, we're in the fine. we're in the ones. We're in the ones. We're in we the are in the ones. We are in the ones. We're, we're, the, we're, in the, the, we're in the top ones. We're in the third party, number one. The this top, is the top ones. third party of the of the year. Number ones for number funds. Number ones for funds. Number ones in buns. Is it like a hot dog and a bun? Yeah, you got it. Number ones in buns. Yep. Ones and buns. Let's do a shot. So, who's your number uh, threeps? Number one threeps of the year. Okay. You dropping hard. Yes. Repping them deep threeps. Well, as a surprise to no absolutely threeps. nobody. My number one wow. third party figure of the year wow. was one I did not expect to be, honestly. Yeah. I had him on my Christmas list, but I never thought anything of him. I made a choice back in the day because they were like, okay, you official, got, you got official Optim Optimus Prime's coming out, but alternatively, there are two other Optimus Prime. And if you choose anything but Hasbro, you're a confirmed racist. Uh, uh, obviously, yeah. but there's the there's the Magic Square one. But you're which like, fuck I, it. Yeah, I'm gonna be. And then there's Transform Element. And you decided you want to be a double racist and arsonist. Well, so I got the I got the Magic Square and made the choice, and I was happy with it. Yeah. Like it was fine. It was I'm great. A I'm a race arsonist. Yeah. But watching all the videos of this one, who is the Transform Element op leader, I was like, okay, maybe I made the wrong decision. And the cool thing about both the Magic Square and the tra the Transform Element one is that you could buy both and still only be at half the price of the official Optimus Yes, Prime. you can. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You very easily can. I put I had him on my Christmas list. I didn't think I was going to get him at all. And then when I opened him up on Christmas morning, it was an absolute joy and surprise. For the first sight. This is clearly the best of... I haven't actually touched MP44, but I'm just going to go out and say it. This is a better toy. From the outside observer. Yeah. 
Magic Square looked like the better toy. This and is better. I'm saying, like, yeah. that looked like the better yeah. toy alone. This is on equal par, just visually to me, as the Magic Square. Both of them look better aesthetically and honestly from the back, pleasantly, than the official MP. So these are... These are both the Magic Square and the Transform Element. They are very similar. He's a white child. This one has a lot of die cast on it. I will admit, as a figure, he's not. As, this one's not as poseable as this one. This one's more poseable. But for me, I like actually the, the thinner thigh look. I like the head sculpt a little better. I like the chest better. And the transformation on this one is... It's bonkers, right? Bonkers, but not dumb. It's bonkers, but not impossible. Yes. This one, for me, is the clear winner of the two, based on interest in the transformation, and I like the robot mode a little bit better, but I like the alt mode a lot better. The truck on this one is better than this one, partially because it's a solid red truck. There's no stripe on it like there is on this one, and I actually didn't realize it, but I like that better. He's got stabbier stacks. He does. Not, not a detriment, I'm just saying. No, I'm just he does. Illustrating. He does have stabbier stacks. Yep. Seeing him from the profile, you can actually see yep. there's a stabbier profile. Yep. From my basic aesthetic criticism, from the back. Yeah. This is where I view our toys often when we do it. So uh, for, he's got some light up action. Uh, so from an outside reviewer. Yep. The difference is obviously you have very clean panels mm -hmm. of the transform element, a very cleaner back up here. You have this kind of weird bumper grill. It's ass. silver, yeah, because that's his, that's his actual grill. Yeah. This I think is the only detriment to the entire back of the figure. Mm -hmm. Whereas this one, you've got a couple of mismatched colored panels here. No ass guard, which is kind of nice that that one has. Yeah, but then you got these other random gray panels here and the obvious like transformation backing mm -hmm. pieces here. So the transform element kind of cleans up some of the transformation pieces yep. except for this chunk right there. Mm -hmm. But the boots look super clean. Yes. And the other and thing also, I like, these little, uh, these oh, little gas tanks are yes. the actual gas tanks for the truck mode. So th this, op this ops for chrome, this yep. ops for perfect aesthetic. Yes. Yes. I'm gonna turn off his little... Yeah, I'm just saying, I I'm just offering yeah. a criticism. No, yeah, or, or a critique, because yeah. I, I love the way this flat panel molds in, yeah. as opposed to this like, chrome. random shiny chrome. Yeah, well, thing. it makes more sense with the, because that's the bumper is chrome yeah. too, but you can't see that. Exactly. I guess the, the, the smokestacks are chrome as well. Yeah. They're both fantastic figures, for sure. I feel like this guy, though, from, from the bits I've seen, he looks like if you combine this guy with the $400 yes. Optimus Prime. He's like that middle ground between the two. Yes. He combines the tune aesthetic with the MP tune aesthetic of yes. the official release. Yep. And I, I never thought what. I would be in a position where I bought, like, five or six Optimus Primes in a year, but okay. I did. I can only because if I had that option with Galvatron, you I would, would take have. it. I'd take yeah. it. Yeah. So is it my turn? Yes. Okay. I'm throwing up. Oh, look at you. My Mastermaid's Overlords. Master I don't you know do I love Mastermaid. I do. And I love Overlord. This figure is a figure that also sat on my desk for a while. I just kept having fun playing with him. Like He was a base for a while. Mm -hmm. And then he was like a random dude. I ended up buying the smaller head to give him that more like cartoon yeah, accurate image. Yeah. And I fucking love it. But him. he has the better wings shot. too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because of like the sort the little sorter wings. Yeah. His little shock waves great. I covered him on the show. He combines the, the kind of the the, M the IDW aesthetic with the original aesthetic and it's just kind of a weird fun look. I know I did him on the show before. You did. Uh with with the traditional head. And Is that the smaller head? Yeah, small okay. head. He, so that one doesn't have the movable jaw, right? No, it right? doesn't. Yeah. And he was honestly, a, him and my number two were kind of interchangeable. I was going back and forth, like, all, all night. Our entire episode has been... Yeah, we're just, we're, this, we're making a round? couple of these choices last minute. Yeah. yeah. So I feel like this one kind of edged out Skylinks for me only because... Uh, I love the aesthetics of the round uh, of this series. I love this kind of like city bot fighting series. It's like this weird Gundam meets Ultra Class Transformers yeah. kind of thing, and I, and I love just 
the ultra chunk details of it and weirdly enough even though it costs more money and I hate it I do like the smaller heads with the series it kind of gives it a more Gundam-y kind yes, of flow yes it does and he's only my number one begrudgingly because like Skylinks could have very easily been my number one I just I don't know I just chose the night of I just like it's just it's just bad it sat on my desk more I, I played with this more like I I fucked around, I, like, I played with the swords, like, the <clears throat> wings of swords and stuff, and I fucked around with it a lot. I had a lot of fun just posing it, and the little shockwave was always cool. I still don't feel confident, but I feel the way about the whole setup this round, like, not in a bad way not confident. I loved all of the toys I picked. We just had to arbitrarily pick them. Yeah, some of them we, we arbitrarily picked them. And I really don't agree with some of my options. And I probably will hate the ones I chose, but this is the way it's going to wind up for me. And this is my number one for third party. So, what you got, baby? What? That's it? Yeah, that's it. What you got? What you no. got? Oh, no, that's, that's it. That's, that's right. it. That's right. You're number one. I'm number two. Yeah. How drunk are you? Final round. Are we fighting? I guess. Okay. Should we go? Should yeah. We show? Yeah, okay. let's just do it. Here we are. Final round. Yeah. Are you ready for this? This is number one. <laughs> These are official. <laughs> we haven't like sung at all this whole episode. The, 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 no, the no, no singing spirit. round. Yeah. No singing round. I guess the musical spirit hasn't touched us. It has not. We haven't felt inspired. The new year has not brung good tidings. Of sad joy. Not even, not even any joy. Joy or sad joy. What's the difference between joy We're, we're and still sad focused joy. on the last year. We haven't harnessed it. That's, that's, that's true. That's true. That's, that's true. Well, wait, hold on. Let's, let's do a shot. Let's do a shooties. <laughs> mm. We're doing uh, number one official uh, bots. Number one official Of uh, 2019. Mine is a very special bot. It's okay. near and dear to my heart. Not okay. only is it one of my favorite characters, but yeah. it's not Optimus Prime. Okay. But uh, it's a legitimately good figure. Okay. And I got it for free. Mm. And I got the box signed by the guy that voiced the character. Mm -hmm. So. Over there. Over there. I'm not going to pick that up. It's going down here, but it's fine. In fact, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take all this shit off. There's, who needs? Who needs it? This isn't. This I don't, I'm not bringing up. I'm not bringing up Jetfire. I'm bringing up motherfucking Skyfire. And believe me, this motherfucker has a delineation between the two. Uh, it's because they're different characters. You know which one was in the cartoon? Not Jetfire. That's for sure. It was Skyfire. Skyfire was in the cartoon. You ask the cartoon. You ask Optimus Prime in the cartoon. Who Jetfire is? He's like, I don't fucking know. I know Skyfire. This is Skyfire. This is Transformers. War for Cybertron Siege Commander class. He's so rad, he gets his own class of figure. He's 80 bucks. And although he went on sale a bunch. And like I said, I got mine for free. Because I won a competition yes. at the aforementioned... Vince DiCola concert. <laughs> the aforementioned, the previously mentioned. That's what I meant. We're not mentioning it after the show. We mentioned well, it. I won't is. continue to, mince, to, to mention <laughs> Vince, Di, Vince DiCola <laughs> until the day <laughs> I die. It was previously mentioned. We've never not no. mentioned it. I, I aforementioned it. What? Are you from the future? <laughs> yes. I live my life backwards. I have Merlin sickness. I'm watching that dark series on Netflix. I've heard it's good. I've only seen the first episode. Though. It seems pretty fun. Yeah, it seems pretty fun. Um, but yeah, so this is uh, this is Jetfire, and he, he, he's Jetfire. He is a great figure. Yes. If you don't own a Jetfire that looks like this, you should. He vi he was the sixth on my top five. Yeah, and he's, he's and my top one. I have a very specific reason why. He's too tall. He's not too tall. As a monster myself, he's like a skosh too tall. He's not too tall. Like a skosh. But no, it's just me. Like, it's just me. He's a skosh too tall. I love him because he's tall. It's fine. 
I know you love me because I'm tall and no, white. No, I love you because you put I, out. I'm tall and white and put out. He's also tall and white and puts out. We're the well, same. Everyone goes inside we're, of the mystery. We're the same guy. Everyone comes inside this guy. Yeah, we're tall and white and everyone comes inside of us. Yes, we're the same guy. Fair enough. I, I, I identify with Skyfire slash Jetfire. Yeah. I'm just saying he was too tall figure-wise for me to put it in my mix. Okay. But he was a great figure. He is a great figure. He's a great figure. He was a great He's a figure. fantastic figure. He, he still is, but he also was, too. Yeah. He kind of came out of nowhere. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. like, like it, it came out of nowhere with this class. Yeah. And I'm genuinely kind of curious where they're going to go with it. Yeah, them. what other figures could they put in this class? I know uh, a lot of people are saying, like, uh, Star Saber. For those that don't know, this... Just, just, uh, this is it's a little scale. Star, a little scale. Star Scream mode. This is a Voyager. Yeah. Commander. Commander class. For, for those who haven't jumped the line or who are just yeah. watching videos for funsies, this is what we're, this is the comparison we're offering. Yeah. So if this was a Star Scream, yeah. same size, this is what you'd be getting. So, like, like yeah, this, let, me, let me pull up. Here's, a, here's the, the Voyager Optimus Prime. Yeah. A, so, like, yeah, they come up to his waist. Yeah, for me, I would want him more about here-ish. Like one head shorter. Yeah, like a head shorter. But in all fairness, fine with the figure. Just wasn't in my top set because. Okay. Yeah, just, fine. I, I've never been a big Skyfire fan okay. either. Like I like him, but yeah, exactly. I'm just saying, like that's my only criticism yeah. was, was was his size. Everyone's got their own preferences. It's okay. You're allowed to. Should I just die? No, I want you to go next, because this is my guy, and we've actually already done him on the show, too. We have. We yeah. Have, yeah. 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 So what you got? I uh, have got uh, a previous content contender for this round. I have uh, Mr. Spinister, featuring one of Skywarp's weapons, which is actually one of his, his weapons. target masters. The other, we can't find here yet. Yeah. Uh, Singe, I believe it's yeah. called. I loved this figure. I loved it. It was super fun to play with. Uh, I love the fake cockpits. Everything about this figure was super fun. I like that he has multiple ports, so you can just like Wolverine gun. Yeah, you can put his guns like everywhere. Yeah, he he's one of those guys like he has any way you want to put his guns. Yes, you can put his and guns. It, none of them are wrong. It feels kind of weird they threw him in this set. Like, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Like, we talked about him a bit in the last round, but I feel like he... He's also super tall. Like, this yeah. is Optimus Prime. He's not that much shorter than Optimus Prime. Whereas, also, uh, this is, like, fucking Reflector. But he's very... Uh, much in the same round as... The yeah. same scale of Iron High. Yeah, so it, it's reps. interesting how this is a Voyager. Deluxe. These are all deluxes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so they've definitely been playing more with appropriate scale, yeah. but kind of fast and loose. Well, I think um, what uh, Cliff Jumper is going to be closer to like this guy. Yeah, of course. Yeah. He barely hedged into my number one slot except for the fact that he has never left my desk yet. I haven't put him in his proper shelf. He's super fun to pose with a bunch of stuff. Hadn't had so much fun playing with a toy, I'm, I'm just gonna say honestly, since uh, Universe Sky or uh, Cyclonus. Sure. I love that Cyclonus figure. This was that same kind of batch Feel. of like, yeah. it's kind of a weird out there figure and they kind of Filled it in aesthetic. I didn't know that I wanted Phil. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because we're number one. We're kind of filling this gap up. Yeah. But, uh, let's, let's bring them all out. Let's do it all. Look at how sexy this lineup is. Do you want to take a ride on any disco stick? Oh my god. Let's have some fun. This beat is sick. I want to take I a ride. I think Zach wins the award for the biggest. But like only because yours is like he's I, in my my mouth. Yeah, I think the second biggest is Grimlock here, just in terms of like girth. Well, I feel like these two deserve an award for uh, undeserved size changing shuttle transport guys. Sure, girl, I'm yeah. drunk. He's drunk. I'm drunk. What are you looking forward to in 2020? 
I honestly don't know. I mean, I have a few uh, figures coming out from... Like, MMC has, like, the Deathsaurus figure I want. They mm-hmm. have the rest of DJD coming out. I hate to say it, but I'm a little Optimus primed out after this we'll year. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We still don't have our Unicron. That's true. We yeah. did jump in. So we jumped to, in, yeah. Uh, the Hasbro yeah. has lab. Yeah, we, uh, we has lab. Supposedly it's due at the end of 2020. We'll see. I'm we'll I'm betting 2020. See. I'm betting beginning of 2020. Yeah, I don't think it's that's what I'm betting. I'm betting, I'm betting we won't be. we won't get it until the beginning of 2020. Uh, they've added some options. Maybe they'll add further options. Yeah, who knows? The delay. Yeah. Um, so we'll see actually what comes down to it, but yeah. we have no idea when it's going to come out. So it's yeah. kind of like up in the air. Yeah. What we're going to do with it? Where are we going to put it? That's a problem for future Mike. Future I, Zach. Yeah, I don't worry about any of that. It's and, a, yeah, it'll it'll we'll figure it out. Yeah. When you need to find room, you find room. Yeah. What are the top two of mine that you would have jumped into? Um, Magna and Venta. Okay. And the Rat Bat. Okay. I would have jumped into, obviously, the Jetfire, because I like that mold. Yeah. Uh, I'm not really into the Giga Power size. Sure. But I like the Transform Element. You kind of converted me over to that. Transform form. Element? Yeah. yeah. I think those are my guys, just because, like, I own almost all the figures you yeah. have, except for... Yeah. I'm going to give Siege a handy. Oh, yeah. I'm going to give you a handy. Congratulations. Transformer Siege on being the best. Yeah. The best line. You're the best. Hasbro did a great job. You fulfilled everything I expected. Absolutely. More from a basic Transformers yes. line. And I will say this. This is true of all time. If I could go back from the beginning of time until now... I had to choose one Transformers line to be the best. S- since you started collecting, or, or no, no, forever. Even even including G One. Okay. I, I'm like G One. Sure, was like solid. It was where everything came from. Right, right. But I think as a toy, War for Cybertron Siege had the best transformations, the best articulation, and the best alt modes and robot modes of any line ever. And I would argue, uh, on top of that. I would argue a very fair character allotment. Yes, uh, Char- from from because all of you, all the different you got, genres. You got a few leader classes. Mm-hmm. You got a few hard to find uh, and never made figures yes. like Soundwave and Shockwave. Yes. And then you got fucking wild cards. Yes, in there. look at this lineup. Fucking look at this lineup. Fuck you. This, look at this lineup. The world is shit. We're all gonna die. But fucking twenty. But we have rad fucking 2019 toys. Twenty nineteen gave us this fucking lineup. This 100%. is hundred percent. This is looking at our previous photos. This is probably one of my favorite lineups. Oh, I've ever of had the ever. three times we've done this, this is the best one. Well, I'm just like I love that we have equal parts. You know, like a like original and third party, and the yeah. third party figures are just bouncing off the fucking chain with fucking Absolutely. class. Absolutely, just class to the max. Yeah, these are these are classy as fuck. So, what did you like? Fucking throw it. Let down. us know. What were your top five official top five third party? Let us know down downstairs area down down there. What should we have bought? What should we have yeah. cared about? Did, are, are we missing anything on here that you think should be like, here? Are you... Be uh, civil about it, you, but let us know. Hang out with us. Talk to talk. Yeah. Just talk to talk when you walk We're people. Walk. What do you like? Just yeah. fucking hammer it down. Hammer it down. Hammer us right, right from behind. Right in the bees. Yeah. Right in the bees' knees. I'd also like to take a moment and thank these people on the screen that you're seeing right here. These are our Bots and Shots supporters on Patreon. If you want to get your name up on here, check out our Patreon page. This goes to uh, help us out on yeah. Patreon. The things. Yeah. Okay, well thanks for watching. Thanks for getting us far. And we're we're gonna see you next month, probably. Unless I do another episode with the bots and the shots cast. Well thanks for getting us far. We'll see you next time. Bye. Say bye. Bye.